Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Effects tutorial series, you're going to learn how to create circular flow diagram in PowerPoint. The circular flow diagram you're going to learn today looks like this. The impact comes from the way each of these elements looks hand drawn and looks organic. Let us see how to create this six steps circular flow diagram from scratch. The first thing is to realize that this entire diagram is created out of two elements. One is the circle and the other one is this arrow. And if you are able to create these two things together, then we can make multiple copies and complete the diagram. So we are going to first draw the circle. The tool we are going to use to draw the circle is under basic shapes and it is called as arc. I am going to hold the shift button while I draw the arc so that it is the arc is perfectly circular. I am going to move this yellow handle almost to complete the circle but not completing the loop. The next thing is to make it look slightly imperfect. I am going to right click, go to edit points. I am going to push this slightly in. I am going to use this short handle to get the curvature more or less back to where it was. I am going to use the other one, the other edge uh, or other uh, tip. I am going to move this slightly to the center and this looks distorted sufficiently. Now we are going to keep this on the side. The next thing is to create the arrow. The arrow I am going to use is under block arrows and it is called as up arrow. I am going to draw the up arrow here. I want to make some minor adjustments to the width of the stem. This is the width that I am quite happy about. Maybe even lift the uh, angle slightly so that the arrow head is slightly wide. This is good enough. Now I am going to trace this shape, this arrow shape using scribble tool. But for me to do this more effectively, I should be able to zoom to see the shape far more clearly. So I am going to click on zoom in function here. Now I can very clearly see the diagram I am going to trace or the shape I am going to trace. To make it easier, I am going to remove the shape fill and the tool I am going to use to trace this shape is under lines and it is called as scribble. So I click on it. The way I draw the scribble line is to hold the mouse button while I draw it. Now I am going to click here and slowly I am going to move this cursor which is turned into a pencil. I am going to roughly trace the path. I am not trying to be a perfectionist here because I want the lines to look imperfect. So that is the whole idea. I am tracing the whole thing. Some places I might go off but it doesn't matter. Now as I go to the starting point you could see that um, the whole thing has been filled with blue. That means we have come to the starting point. Now I am going to move this to the side and I am going to remove this. You don't have to settle for this look. If you really feel that there are certain things that you want to change you can always go to edit points and uh, make the adjustment. Say for example I. I can move it this way or uh, I don't want it to have this sharp edge. I can delete point and maybe I can have it moved this way. I can delete some more points here. You make all the adjustments that you feel are essential. Once you are happy with it, then go to shape fill and say no fill. And we are going to use for the outline a gray color so that the diagram looks that much more authentic as if it is drawn with a charcoal pencil. Now we have done this. We are going to go back to 
fit slide to current window option and there we are we are going to increase the thickness of the line to two one by four points you can always go to shape outline and you will get the same option here I, what i have done is i have put that option here in the quick access toolbar i am going to apply the same format to this one as well for this i am going to click on this go to format painter and click on this and there it is the format is applied now i am going to keep this one on top of this and i'm going to reduce the size slightly till i am happy with it i am going to send it back i am going to fill it with the white and this again i'm going to fill it with white so this seems okay to me i don't know what this small uh, dot is Okay, probably the dot is uh, coming from this one. Oops. All right, so we will keep it here and move it slightly inside. So that should do. All right, now that we have this uh, in place, we are going to select both of them and press Ctrl G. And I am going to reduce the size slightly. I'm going to make multiple copies here. So control D, control D. So I have got a couple of copies. I'm going to rotate this slightly to this side. And I'm going to rotate this to this side. I'm going to make a copy of this control C, control V. And I'm going to arrange, rotate and flip vertical. So I have it here and this one, Control C, Control V and I'm going to move this to this side and make another copy, Control C, Control V or keep the control button pressed while you uh, draw this. Now this looks more or less fine, only that the angles need to be adjusted. Now here is where I am going to decide whether I want this going this way or do I want it slightly flatter and I can make the adjustment to all the other arrows as well and I can move this slightly this way, move this here and make it slightly tilted and there it is. The entire thing is done now this small dot here is usually not seen you don't really uh, find this dot when you draw your diagram maybe it is a small flaw in the way that I have drawn this also gives me an opportunity to teach you another small technique of how to erase such blemishes when you see them it's very simple you pick up any of the auto shapes may be a small circle here draw the circle right on top of it place it go to shape fill and have it as white fill and remove the outline so there it is we have erased the blemishes now I hold the control button while I move the shape and sorry I think yeah and move it again on top of this on top of this on top of this and there it is so we have erased all the blemishes so that is how sometimes you may have to do the touch-up job now let me change the color of these uh, shapes here I am going to use red for the outline uh, maybe green here sorry not shape fill shape outline orange here for this let us take blue let us take a tan color and finally maybe a purple color and it is done we can select all of this and press ctrl G and finally all we are left to do is to write the sample text so your text here we will keep this straight center aligned 
change the font to something that looks more handwritten the usual font that we use for the purpose is sego print and there it is now i'll hold the control button i am moving this uh, text so i create a copy that way i populate all the other steps as well and there it is our six steps circular flow diagram is ready as you can see here though we are very precise when the, whenever we create any regular diagram in this case i purposely didn't use any of those specific um adjustment tools like uh, flip vertical flip horizontal or using specific angles of rotation alignment tools etc because every bit here needs to look hand drawn or irregular and that is the reason why we have uh, created it this way this is one of the examples of a hand drawn diagram i wish to show you some other examples taken from our hand drawn graphics pack which depict circular flow the first example is this one here the arrows we used are fairly regular and you can write your text to label these uh, various steps in the circular arrows this is a different type of circular arrow um different type of a shape which we have duplicated to create this um, diagram the next example is this one where we have done some bit of animation we have touched we, we have left the text untouched because once you have your text written here then you can add the animation for the text here so that is uh, one of the things that we have done for this specific template in our pack this one shows positive and negative loops as you can see here this effect is created completely using powerpoint and this is another example of reinforcing loops so these are some of uh, the example templates we wish to show you to depict circular flows loop flows etc and it takes a lot of time and effort to create hand drawn diagrams though they look very simple they are fairly uh, exhaustive in terms of uh, i mean exhausting in terms of the amount of work that is involved if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such hand drawn graphics for yourself you can always take a look at our 300 plus powerpoint hand drawn graphics pack the pack has more than 300 graphics concepts and models for powerpoint to create a hand drawn slide all you need to do is to insert these elements from uh, the regular templates replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional looking hand drawn slides has never been easier what is more you can actually pick elements from different slides and create your own templates and that really multiplies the number of slides you can create from the pack Hope you liked our tutorial on creating hand drawn process flow diagram six step process flow diagram circular flow diagram if you want to learn more such tutorials if you want to read more articles to improve your presentation skills and powerpoint skills and if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting